Welcome to Wager Talk TV, guys. I'm Kelly in Vegas, joined by Anthony Curtis at LVA underscore tweet on Twitter and Las Vegas Chris or Vegas Chris, at Las Vegas Chris, on Twitter. All right, let's talk about something that I normally don't really understand. I see my buddies, we go to a bar, I'll put 100 bucks in the machine and act like a complete degenerate while I'm having a couple drinks, but I have no understanding of how to win at video poker, nor have I ever. I win at video blackjack, why? Because I like to let it ride, and I'm just, cool, I've had three margaritas, I'm just gonna let this ride and see what happens and cash out, hopefully ahead, and most of the time not. So let's talk about First of all, Chris, I want to hit this up real quick before I forget. Uh, I saw on Twitter recently, and I wanted to throw up, and I was like, God, this, this makes my bad beat in college basketball look like nothing. You got up, you went to the bathroom, someone else used your machine, and won 100 grand. No, it's not. It's it, it's not that. I, we don't want to waste a lot of time on that. But I I, I did come in contact with two people same night that won a hundred thousand dollar jackpot. Okay. Each. And but one was using. And a they machine. both played machines I had been playing. Okay. And a lot of people are like, oh man, you must feel like crap. No, video poker machines have random number generators. Okay. So it doesn't matter. You can't feel bad if somebody hits a big jackpot, jackpot on your machine that you just left because you have to hit the button at the exact precise <clears throat> millisecond that somebody else. You ah. have to play the same game, you have to play the same combination, you have to do exactly what they're doing. It's like watching roulette history and not realizing, well, if the, the release, the, the point of release on the ball had been one nanosecond different, then there would have been a different number. So right. why even look at the tote board? Okay. So, it, no, I don't think it was a bad beat. So but, you don't, okay, that makes sense, though, that you yeah, don't yeah. consider it a bad beat, like in college basketball, if somebody misses two free throws at the end. No, this it, this can take the one. pain away from a lot of people who said, you took my jackpot. That literally does not exist in the world. You can't okay. take some Somebody's jackpot unless you had played and pulled the handle or pushed the button at the precise second that they did. So, you know, if that's you, interesting. Even okay. if, you know, you hit a royal flush. Because, yeah, if I'm sitting in a machine and I go to the bathroom and I come back and somebody else, I'm going, wait a minute, buddy, like. There's no way because you would have had to do exactly at that moment that they hit it. Okay. And it's, and it's, you know, people don't realize that and they go, oh my God, that was mine. And it bugs them and it bugs them and it bugs them. Yeah, but that would eat me alive. But it doesn't work that way. Okay, noted. I like it. So there's no bad beats pretty much in video poker. All right, so tell me. Okay, so I'm looking at, I go to walk into a bar, and, I, and I'm looking at a video poker machine. Tell me what I want to play to maximize my chances of winning. I mean, there's a million yep. games on there. There's Keno, there's that caveman thing, Keno, right? Like, you right. have to, like, get, and I just hit a bunch of buttons because it's, like, whatever. It's more, like, entertainment. It's not to make money. Well, here's the interesting thing about video poker. Video poker is potentially a beatable game. Okay. All right, there are literally, there are five beatable games they are blackjack, poker, video poker, sports betting, and, and horse racing. These okay. are beatable games by knowledgeable players. There's two, two things you need to know to win at video poker. First, you need to be able to pick a machine that can be beaten. And you do that by looking at the pay schedules. You have to understand what a pay schedule means. You have to understand what a 9-6 machine is versus an 8-5. Now we're talking about the payouts for the full house and flush. You need to know, so you need to do a little bit of study and know what that is. Second is once you've found the beatable machine, potentially, you need to know how to play it properly. So when those cards, when those cards come up, you need to know what to hold and what to So start. I'm gonna start with the first one. So you can't just walk up, let's use the Mirage, for example. You can't just walk up, go to the Mirage and say, I'm just gonna sit down at any old video poker machine. No, you could get lucky and you could hit a machine that, that is potentially beatable. Now there aren't that many of them. It's not like they're all over running around like Buffalo in Vegas. You know, you've gotta know where they are. Okay. In bars, you're almost never gonna find them. Really? Um, yeah, you know, I mean, there's rules of thumb that the video poker is going to be better in casinos than it is in bars. Okay. It's going to be better downtown than it is on the strip. It's going to be better usually in neighborhood casinos than it is on the strip or so downtown. So, for example, Vegas neighborhood casinos, a PTs? Um, not a PT. Not a PT. No, okay. okay. but, that would go as a bar. Okay, but so a Dotties. Dotties mm, sometimes. Dotties okay. sometimes. Uh, yeah. Can you give me some examples of local Vegas bars that maybe people could find them in? Um, the best, the best, again, bar, the bars I know you don't want to give out all your secrets, no, no, but like no, just no. to give a general I, I idea. Mind, but the bars are tough. Okay. Like I say, the bars are, are like, that's like your second or third choice. Okay. Usually. So all of those I just said that I consider to be like little kind of casinos aren't. You know why bars are great? Bars are great because usually if you're playing video poker and they're comping your drinks, your expected loss on the video poker machine is less than if you were paying retail for the drink. Touche. So when That's you true. put that all together, you've got a, you've got a winning play. Like I said, I, I go sit there just because I'm bored and it's in front of me and I need something to do if there's not sports on TV and I'm tired of listening to the people's conversation next to me. Um, but you would say like the off the strip casinos, is that what you're meaning by? Yeah, I'm talking about like stations, stations voids, okay. you know, things like that. Downtown. You're okay. going to find in the, yeah. downtown for sure. Okay, Chris. Another important thing is the pay tables are not the automatic pay over time. 
that's the automatic pay based on perfect play over time. Okay. So what I suggest to people is get a app or you know hit a website that has uh, the program where you can practice. I have VP Pocket at VideoPoker.com. There's another one called VP Free Two, and just try to learn one game. Jacks are better or bonus poker. That's it. what I was getting ready to ask you. Is there a specific video poker game within that? Like I said, there's a ton of things that you can play. But even when you click poker, there's five or six things that come up. Exactly. So what you need to do is familiarize yourself with what, what games you can win at or okay. be very close to. And then when also you combine that with casino promotions, multiplier days. If you're going on multiplier days, you're getting six to 11 times one, you know. And these are specific promotions within each casino? Correct. correct. Okay. You're not gonna get that on, at Caesars or MGM or the strip casinos, but you're talking about being able to do that elsewhere. Okay, awesome. I agree with Chris. I would add two things. There are two really good ways to learn. One is with a, tutor, a tutoring program. All right, there are things out there, you know, one called uh, Video Poker for Winners by Bob Dancer. Bob Dancer is probably the biggest name in video poker. And you can play that. And as you play the game that you like, it will beep you when you make a mistake and it will tell you what the proper play was. Second is you can literally get strategy cards. Oh, just you like get, you can with blackjack. Yeah, but with blackjack, all you're getting is, is essentially basic strategy. It's going to kind of get you close to even. These will tell you how to play exactly if you've got a credible card and they're good. We'll tell you how to play every single hand, what you should keep, what you should throw away. You'll be playing computer perfect. So now that's the second part of the equation. You found a good machine, now here's how you play. Strategy cards are terrific. Awesome, great stuff from both guys. Again, make sure you're giving both of them a follow on Twitter, at LVA underscore tweet, at Las Vegas Chris. Guys, if you like this video, please click subscribe to all of our other videos, like, share, feel free to comment below because we have all sorts of information to give you and things of even just like video poker. I've learned so much today.